Leo, what it be yo, it is Scorpion Red Tarot, I am back at it again, one time for the one time, here for the remix, we're here to let you know what the energy is surrounding you, mid-month June, the 15th through the 30th, shout out to all my subscribers, thank you everyone who has clicked this video, we're going to get into the tea today, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting the page, um, we got a couple of new decks here, we got the Zen Tarot deck that you guys sent through Amazon and as well as the Healing Light, the Norman deck. Alrighty. So, thank you guys so much for all of the support to the page. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to Patreon. As you know, I will be over on Patreon on my off week. Okay, so if things get a little bit quiet over here on YouTube, it's because I'm over on Patreon. With my collector gatherer members, if there's any uh, collector <laughs> to with my collector gatherer members members, if there's anyone who cannot afford a personal private reading, a personal private reading is the extensive long reading that we're doing here. If you cannot afford a personal private reading, the best way to get in contact with me and to get access to readings, the quick readings, about 10 to 15 minute readings, is to come and join me over the Patreon. It's a monthly membership. You can come in at $1.99 or $4.99 tier. The $1.99 tier, you will be able to send me um, your question in the chat. I'm going to do live streams or I will let you guys know before I do the live stream and you guys can submit me your question and I'll do a reading on it. And you guys will see it uploaded on Patreon where you can have private and um, direct membership only access to these private readings okay um we will be doing some live chats i will be having some call-ins once i get my conference situation all set up or whatever i'm getting me another bluetooth speaker because mine's just broke it must be that damn retrograde about to come up through here and it's hitting me way early okay i had a printer and a uh, speaker break on me but anyway the 499 tier we will have more sexually explicit graphic content as you can see you guys send me this little freak nasty little nasty freaky deck mm -hmm. we're going to take that exclusive content on over to patreon because i don't want to get no strikes on my page or nobody to be flagging my video saying i got naked people on there doing all type of nasty little freaky things so we will be doing some sex secrets and scandals Lie. <laughs> we will be doing some sex secret and scandal um readings over there. Um, you will get the um daily sexual healing reading over there, and the call-ins for the 4.99 tier. Well, the readings for the 4.99 tier will be call-ins. It won't be you guys sending me messages through the chat you guys will be able to call in and speak to me and we'll be live on camera all right so it'll be all interactive and cool that way and like i told you we're going to be doing some late night conversations where we're going to be having some topics that's coming out in these collective readings oh yeah we y'all gonna have to call and y'all gonna have to talk to me about this yes honey so y'all come on over there join me at patreon i can't wait to see you guys over there as soon as i get these monthlies out we're gonna be on over there it's gonna be smoking okay so if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with me, my information is in the about tab. You need a book and then connect with me. Go ahead and book that reading and then make sure that you click that Instagram link right after you book with me and send me a message to let me know, hey, this is so-and-so. I book with you on this day and we're going to keep it live, okay? If you don't want to get on the camera with me, there is an option for a direct video upload and a recap video. That basically means if you are getting on camera with me and if you just want me to record your session and upload a private video to YouTube for you to keep, I can do that or if you don't want to get on camera and you just want to submit your question to me and I can record a private upload and I can send it to you on your um, provided platform that you are communicating with me on. If you don't have Instagram, you can also use Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. You can use my email address, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and then we'll be good to go. So that's enough of the house announcements. Let's get into thine reading, okay? Thank you so much, Father God. Hold on, let me take a sip of water. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for just uplifting and bringing joy, laughter, love, and just faithfulness to our dedication to making sure that we are finding a better day. Um, I really do feel like Leo is been dedicated every day and just trying to strengthen itself trying to overcome um obstacles and fighting temptations and, and and getting over 
the past, the things that they used to do and, and things to how they used to be. Uh, Father God, we're moving ahead. We're moving forward. This summer is going to be amazing. Our season is coming up soon. And we're just dancing around and we're having fun and we're celebrating, Father God. Please continue to uplift us and uphold us where we can make good, positive decisions and continue to move forward and love, light, and laughter and have joy and just hope and happiness in our heart, Father God. Please give the sign of Leo guidance for mid-month June the 15th through the 30th. Thank you again for all the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give my sign of Leo guidance. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's see what our spirit number is for Leo's. What it be, yo? What it goddamn be, baby? Let's find out what's going on for you, boo. For my Leo. Teaching and learning. Teaching and learning. All right. And when I did the pre shuffle, personal growth had came out early, okay? So it seems like Leo has been through a phase in their life where they've learned so much that they're able to teach other people. So that they can learn not to make the same mistakes that they made. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I feel like Leo is a valuable resource to showing people, you know, you don't have to take the same actions that I took. You know, a hard head don't have to make a soft ass. Like, if you listen to what I'm trying to teach you, you can learn a lot faster than I did, you know? I do feel like it's like a youngster or somebody that Leo is talking to. Like maybe like a younger cousin or something at their school. And they're like, listen, bruh. Listen to I've I, I made mistakes in my family and there's certain things that I wish I could have taken back. But I can't now, you know. So learn. Learn from me. The rebel. Learn from me. I've been a rebel all my damn life. I live by my own code. I do what the fuck I want to do. I'm the fucking Leo. I'm the lion. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm the master. I'm the emperor. I take charge. I'm the captain of my own domain. You know, I'm the master of my own destiny. I'm the rebel. I'm the rebel. What is this? Celebration in reverse. It looks like, you know, and it looks like that rebel left lifestyle and Celebrating, I feel like um, Leo probably went through. Leo probably went through a phase where they were partying a lot, like going to clubs, going. I just heard brothels. <laughs> the fuck, y'all going to brothels, <laughs> hoes and stuff. But I really do. I feel like. This is Leo talking to someone that's younger than them and letting them know, listen, I've done this and I'm letting you know what the mistakes that I've done to make me a man. I done did the hoes. I done had them. They done turned me in and done turned me out emotionally and I'm trying to let you know it's a lot more trouble than what it looks like and it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Do you see... All of them, de them demons clouding this person's um, brain right here. Yeah. So it's throughout everything that Leo has been through emotionally. Making mistakes. Being a playboy. Being a rebel. You know. They learn a lot of lessons. They learn a lot of lessons. And trying to add themselves into that lifestyle. Taught them that. Everything that glitters isn't gold. And everything is not as emotionally fulfilling as it looks like. Yeah, all them bitches, they look cool and everything like that. But it's a whole bunch of drama. It's a whole bunch of drama. And now these people don't even, these type, these type of people don't even come to Leo no more because they have a feel of being rejected. Because... It's not satisfying to them no more. Like, Leo is, is a woke person now, you know? And this rebel... They're still a rebel, but they're a good man now. They're an honorable man now. 
they're a favorable man. They've always been a favorable man, okay? 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 I am reloading, all right? Suppression. Suppr oh, let me look at this card. Can't even see your face, honey. Yeah. It's, I feel like... Leo has suppressed these desires. Receptivity. They don't have it. They're not receptive to no more. They just want an ordinary ass life. Like, and that's what Leo is telling this young kid. It's like, listen, these hoes don't turn my life up fucking side down. I don't been to motherfucking child support court. I don't have motherfuckers try to claim babies and shit on me that ain't mine. I done lost my family. Fuck around with hoes. I done been through it all. Shit, I done got robbed in brothels. Like, what you want? Like, what? <laughs> you can't tell. Listen. <laughs> Ain't nothing that you can't name that I ain't did and I ain't been through. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a whole grown ass man and I'm trying to tell you I done did the street life. I done did everything. I done, look, I done pimped some hoes before. Listen to me. I done pimped some hoes before. I'm going to keep it real with you. And at the end of the day, it ain't worth the karma, my nigga. It ain't worth the karma. I done went through enough. That shit turned me in, turned me out. I realized that shit ain't even worth the trouble no more. I done suppressed the desire to even rock like that. Because I know I could easily go out there and go, listen. I know I could go out there and go fuck that shit up if I want to. But I'm not even receptive to that type of shit. It is not. It is not what it's cracked up to be. Listen, I just want an ordinary ass life with one nice queen. Like, I don't need bitches. I want a queen. <clears throat> okay. I want to be out there, um, what's, what, singing in the rain, how the bitch was out there in the damn field, skipping around and looking like, listen, I'm trying to be somewhere singing in the rain, skipping around, having goddamn brunch in the field, a picnic, um, around some dandelions and shit, okay, to eating a motherfucking hoagie roll with some poppy seeds on top of something, listen, I, this, and some fucking, um, freshly squeezed, um, orange juice, I, I ain't, mm, -mm. no, <laughs> no. Young, young lad, you need to suppress all of that stuff because I don't want you to end up like me, end up a father when young, and to got two or three baby mamas. Like, this is like a real conversation that Leo is having with somebody. Like, they are schooling somebody about everything that they've been through. And why they don't live the way that they live no more. That shit ain't fun no more. Yeah. The siphon. They done cut that shit out. Leo has cut it. Listen, they cut that shit out. and They cut that shit out and, 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 and planted new flowers. They cut that shit out and planted new flowers of happiness. You understand? And in the garden. Come on. Fucking Leo. What the fuck do it be, baby? What does it be? Listen, Leo, like I said, I'm the captain of my own ship. I'm the master of my own destiny, okay? They realized the only way that I was going to grow, I had to end old shit that was not favorable to my life. They went out there and cut all them old shoots, planted new seeds, and guess what? It, it it gave new flowers. Happiness. You know what I'm saying? People give bouquet, uh, bouquets of flowers when they're being celebrated, when they are being um, acknowledged for something, where they're getting positive attention for something. Do you understand? And then this is the garden. The garden. So, Leo cut away the bad planted new seeds and like this garden looks like it's finally designed well ma well manicured worth well taken care of do you understand what i'm saying well taken care of well taken care of let me pull into the book here so we can just get some insight for what the book got to say so let's see. Decipher. 
the scythe. Okay? The scythe indicates sudden change. Something is being severed when this card appears. The undergrowth is clear to make fresh green shoots. It also indicates a surgical precision. Okay? So... I don't see anyone going into no surgery. I don't see anything anything about any bad health at all. Um, but this bouquet, a gift or a token of affection, a gift of love. The bouquet is all about happiness and feeling appreciated. This card indicates romantic gestures, invitations, present surprises through thoughtful gestures. All right? So you guys cut something out and planted new seeds and now you are able to smell your flowers. You are being appreciated. And that's what you guys are telling this young man. Number 20, the garden. The garden, honey. Listen, the garden is a place to meet. A social invitation or a lover's trius. This is a social place representing openness and, and, and inclusis, inclusivity. Can I say inclusivity? I'm going to keep trying to say it. Anyway, the garden is a place for community. It signifies green spaces, countryside, or uh, recreation. Okay? So, you guys have well, tell, well tellered and maintained and managed your yard. You cut out everything that wasn't growing right or overgrown crops because I feel like at one point in time, you didn't know how to take care of it, Leo. You didn't know what you were doing. I feel like you guys have studied. You guys have put your hands in the agriculture. You figured out how to plant stuff and really make it grow appropriately. And now not only did you plant your own, plant your own seeds, uh, blossom new flowers, Blossom new flowers, but now you have a well tellered and manicured garden so that when people want to come and communicate with you and people want to send you some love gestures, you're receptive to the right type of shit. You see what I'm saying? You look right. You look good. You look damn good. Okay. You looking real good out here, Leo. You looking real good. So let's see what else. Let's clarify the scythe, the flowers, the garden. Cause that shit, listen, that shit from back in the J. Listen, they're a mature man now. I told you, they're a mature man now. They done changed. Sudden change, like Leo don't woke up. All of them hoes and all of that shit, that shit ain't even cute no more. Give me one queen, please. Okay? And I'm about to tell them my guard and just right nice so I can attract the right one. Wealthy man. Wealthy man, but this is in the reverse. I feel like Leo ain't necessarily a wealthy man yet, but they damn show sure good. They ain't hurting. Oh, honey, they not hurting. They not hurting. Mm hmm. And I definitely feel some of them new shoots that it, um got planted there in that yard. Uh huh. A lot of them was a money tree. Occupation. I told you. I told you. Leo not playing. Leo has planted seeds to be a wealthy man. Okay? And or the Leo woman has planted seeds in her yard, in her garden. She's trying to attract a, man, a wealthy man. She wants communication from a wealthy man. Listen, she just wants an ordinary life with a hard-working man that own a hedge fund. Okay? She ain't asking for too much. I don't think that's too much. She ain't even receptive to nobody else. She needs someone that's a rebel. Somebody that's different. A breaker of change. Do you understand? Somebody that is a committed, hardworking, a defender of right and everything that's good and just. A hard worker. A provider. A protector. A leader. A conqueror. You know? Clarify this spread for Leo. Come on, Leo. What it be, baby? The King of Coins. Okay. The King of Coins in the reverse. So, Leo might be dealing with a financial crunch of some sort. But that doesn't make them any less of a king because at the end of the day, I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I'm going to go out there. Listen, the tower in reverse. Leo, Leo's money is not as tight as they want it to be right now because... They had to give certain things up. Like I feel like Leo lost some some shit in the in a settlement. 
like in a, it could have been a divorce settlement or something like that i feel like you guys might have like lost out in a divorce settlement but at the same time it's like you're not tripping because with that tower in the reverse you seen it coming you knew it was coming yeah the queen of coins yeah the queen the queen of coins and then the king of coins the queen of coins and the king of coins yeah this is your ex-wife this is your ex-wife there was a divorce there was a divorce and, and, and it's something that you seen come coming but you couldn't avoid it like, y'all kept trying to patch it up and, you know, do some little quick patchwork, but that foundation was crumbling and it was falling down. I don't think that either one of you had the energy to put any love into this situation at all. Y'all didn't have any more time to give each other. And that's cool. It's cool because I understand you're dealing with a slight financial crunch because you had to let go of your ex-wife or your ex you know committed partner your ex-lover you had to let this person go because things weren't working out um and you had to give up some money i think you it's like i don't, I don't really feel a deep feeling of upset that, that you're upset you knew this shit was going to happen you knew you was going to have to pay this person some money you you knew that you was going to have to do that so that's why Leo planted this money tree. <laughs> Leo planted this money tree because their coins is just a little fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, listen, I still love you. You know what I'm saying? I, everything is, is still cool. You know? I don't hate you and I hope that you don't hate me. But both of us need to get ourselves together financially so we can take care of our children. Because when I see the king of coins and the queen of coins, I definitely know that there's children there because they are... To people of creation. They plant seeds. Right now, right, neither one of y'all are planting anything where it's growing appropriately. You see what I'm saying? But it's a genuine love shared there for the fact of the history. But beyond that, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was a teaching and a learning experience. And this is what Leo is having this conversation with this young man about. Like, listen shit yeah look my ex-wife she don't even look the same no more like i don't put her through so much stress with all of these bitches she like she done aged a couple fucking years and shit you know what i'm saying like both of us just had this divorce settlement and it's like although i love her shit i still love her but i love her i don't love her on a level like i used to you know what I'm saying? And both of us lost a lot of money and lawyers and, and just everything. Which is, I mean, we just, listen, we lost a lot of money, a lot of time. There's a lot of bullshit trying to separate um, assets and shit like that. I lost my house. I lost, listen, but I had to give it to her. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. I don't want you to have to go through this shit. You see me? I'm having to, you know, get rid of shit, replant. Listen, because I didn't have good judgment. And I kept trying to hold on to something that, listen... It wasn't working out. You understand? I fucked this shit up. I know because I didn't have good judgment. I was out here doing this shit. And I put wrinkles in. I aged her from stress. You shouldn't do that to a woman. You know? That's something that I had to learn as a man. And that's why I sit here right now with this mature man. That's why I sit here right now able to focus on my money and to focus on my business and plant the right seeds. And I'm sitting here able to teach you so that you can learn from my mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like you respect me and everything, but do you respect the hustle? Do you respect what I had to go through to get to this man right here? Because this man went through a lot of shit. This man here lost a lot. And I don't want you to lose a lot. And you're young, you know. I know y'all think all that shit because I feel like back in the day, like Leo got a reputation of being a wild boy in the streets and in the sheets. Like Leo, I feel like is highly respected in whatever area that they're from. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever this is that the Leo female is dating or something like that. But I'm just picking up a male energy. And this, and this could definitely be a female energy as well. This could be a female, um, like, kind of tapping into her masculine energy and just, like, you know, having one of them, like, uh, 
<gasps> Hold on. What's that commercial with a with, with a lady in there? And it's like her her she shed is is burning down. Her she shed. Like yes, honey, you sitting with your your girls in your she shed. Okay. All right. Cause you know how a man be, you know, they normally, that's normally a man thing. And she's like, uh-uh, like, no, I can have me a she shed. Okay, bitch, you in your she shed with your girlfriends having a cocktail. Like, look, bitch, you ain't got to go with the fuck do with the, listen, I went through all this, you know. Give me the tea. Give me the tea for my Leos. What's the tea going on with the Leos? The torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. You don't lit the torch. You lit the torch. I listen. Bell announcement. Well, I feel like y'all about to be rewarded with something. Money path. A pathway to money is waiting for you to find it. Leo, I feel like y'all might be. I feel like an award ceremony or some shit. And then we got spiritual love. Mm -mm. <gasps> Opportunities are waiting for you to door. The victory in this endeavor. A lion. Time to act. Oh, 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 what? 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 The key is successful outcome to a pro. Leo, hold on. Why well, I think I know what this is? Hold on. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. And teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. What? No, sir. No, but that ain't got to be no fucked up shit, though. No, no, no. That goes back to what I was initially saying. Okay, I'm getting it. 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 Okay. I feel like you guys are going to... You guys are going to be awarded. I feel like there's going to be some type of announcement. Like you are, you guys are going to be rewarded because I feel like with this teapot right here, a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Whoever this person is that you're schooling, I feel like whatever you're saying is going to change this young grasshopper's life. Because you're, like I told you, you're talking to a young grasshopper. It's someone of the same sex and it's like, that's like your little brother or something like that. There's a spiritual love. Like you want to make sure that the same opportunities that are open for you are open for this person. And I feel like. This says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Like, you lit in the torch. And I don't know if you, like, doing, like, a big brother program or some shit like that. Or, like, you're a mentor. But I feel like maybe you're doing mentoring just on your own. Just not even realizing that you're, like, actually doing, like, a big brother mentoring thing. But I feel like the action that you've been taking and kind of... Give these younger kids, these young grasshoppers, kids, uh, 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 spiritual keys to success and to, even though it's like, I feel like the kids, like these, these, these kids, it's like, you know, like a group of young boys or some shit. And you're like developing like a, a, a big bond, like a spiritual connection with these young kids. And it's like. They really just like to sit around and listen to you tell stories about when you used to sell drugs and all the crazy shit that you went through with bitches and motherfuckers uh, uh, keying your car up and like all this shit. They just like to hear that stuff. But it's it's not just about you teaching them and telling them how you were a rebel and why you're no longer receptive to this. It, it's more so about why you're not receptive to this stuff and, 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 and why you just want an ordinary life, you know? It's not all attention ain't good attention right there with that celebration in, in, in reverse. Everything that you've lost and even though they be excited about the stories and it's juicy tea, it's juicy gossip and stuff like that. Somebody else is going to see the impact that you've been doing and how you're speaking to them, you're teaching them. Has like changed these kids' life, and 
I feel like you're going to be acknowledged about this shit. You're going to be acknowledged. And a path to money. I don't I don't even think you even see this coming. The crown. I told you you're going to be crowned by someone is going to come to you. Honor and respect will come to you. I told you. Someone is going to come to you cuz they want you to start like a big brother mentorship thing. Yeah. They want they want they want to honor and respect you for everything that you've been doing because I feel like you've helped people overcome temporary problems in their house and just like even little kids like they be going through shit with their parents like their mothers might be on drugs to treat affairs with your family yeah you you now what the fuck is this about all right I'm gonna read this that way and then I'm gonna read this another way so I feel like they are going to be honoring you because you, you've been teaching these young men the responsibility of what it is to be a king. You know what I'm saying? And how to, how to avoid temporary problems and, and, and not to bring temporary problems and, and, and affairs to your family. You know what I'm saying? Don't be always be a king. Don't bring clouds on your family you know what I'm saying if you honor yourself and uphold yourself in a certain manner ain't nobody gonna be pointing no finger to you saying oh to so and so that had a baby with so and so with this this and that and I, I feel like a lot of um you're telling this young boy like if you would have carried yourself like a king you wouldn't have these temporary problems and you wouldn't have all this drama going on with your family no one would be pointing a finger at you right now trying to claim and say that you somebody's child's father you know and I feel like you have been teaching these young boys how to honor themselves as men and how not to be hoeing around like that don't even be receptive to all that shit. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Because you think that shit is cool now. All attention ain't good attention. Next thing you know, you're going to be having some clouds over your, you and your family. Someone's going to be pointing their finger talk about you today. And you're going to be honored for this. Because I don't think it's, it's a lot of people out there just doing that the way that you're doing that, baby. Ain't nobody doing that shit. Like, you taking your pain and everything that you went through and you turning it into something positive. Like, you have honestly transmuted that energy into something so beautiful. And you're having a beautiful conversation with people and you're taking the stories of your life and you're taking your testimony and you are making better men out of, out of unfortunate things that you went through in your life. But it made you a better man teaching and learning someone is going to come to you and they're going to honor you for doing this and they're going to want you to start they want you to do this full time they're going to want you to quit your job and to give yourself to this on a full time basis it says freedom so this is love you guys freedom there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be I feel like there's a lot of freedom right now like right now I don't I really do see that you are connecting to other things. I don't really, um, I, I don't really see like a lot of dating here. Um, let me guide us in love. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy in your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Then it says passion. A magnet and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. So right now I feel like Leo has sexual and an embrace. This was out there. Embrace. Through each other you find missing pieces. So I feel like right now Leo is single. Leo is single. Leo is focusing on their life purpose. Leo's focused on their life purpose and they're on that journey 
And I believe if love finds them, love will have to find them. Um, they went through a lot. And regardless of the circumstances, like just still embrace and find the passion and love that when it comes that you'll be receptive to it. But I just don't feel like Leo is looking for love. And that's how love, love is supposed to find you. You're not supposed to go looking for love. And Leo knows that. And they're just like, Focusing their energy on being a better man or being a better woman. And, um, shit. And if this is a female, like, y'all better go on and go, um, do a little self-help group or something. Like, this is good right here. Whoever is doing this or shit, it maybe y'all just hearing this shit and y'all just like, shit, I actually do sit down and I be churching up these damn kids and stuff. Do... Take it to the next level. I feel like spirit is going to force you to take it to the next level. I'm sorry. I got to go life purpose here because this is like so life purpose to me. This is so life purpose. Give me one second. We're going to have to put love to the side for one second. Give me guidance and life purpose for my Leos. Thank you so much. Can you please clarify Leo's life purpose focus for June 15th through the 30th, 2019? Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Clarify Leo's life purpose focus. A body work. <laughs> Why Leo's always be wanting to get some fucking tattoos? Don't y'all got enough tattoos? Body work. Body work. I feel like, um, okay, body work animals. Protection. Protected. Let go in yoga. Okay, so what I'm getting here is your life purpose here. I feel like a lot of you guys are like security guards. Like extreme, like high level, like high, high, high level um security clearance like security like you guys are security um not only are you security it's just that you're just trying to secure the future of the next generation i feel like you you're not just going to let things go the way they've been going in your neighborhood it's something about your neighborhood it's something about your neighborhood. It needs balance. It's like you got to protect. It's something about your neighborhood. I don't know. Y'all living. Because I see this body work. I feel like you guys used to be thugged out. It's a lot of tattoos and stuff like that. I feel like you got a lot of exotic animals. Like snakes and lizards or something like that. Or like you have a lot of tattoos of. And then that's a cat right there. And you guys are the lion. Like, you guys have a lot of tattoos. And you have a fascination with exotic animals. You have a fascination with exotic animals. You only like animals that are... That will, like, protect you or something like that. But... I feel like a lot of you guys are artists, tattoo artists. Either you want to get some more body work to just demonstrate... Just like your love for your spirit animal, which is probably a lion. Like you want to get another tattoo or whatever. And like you just have a fascination with exotic animals and exotic like art. And I feel like you just want to protect the world. You want to protect your environment. You can't just let things go the way that they've been going without balance. Because you looking at it like shit. When these little niggas get a little bit older, these going to be my kids running around out here. My daughters and stuff. That my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're trying to plant a seed in the community so that it could grow in a different way. Because it's like you've been through so much to at this age that you are now as a grown, grown man. Just now deciding to do something different with yourself and to get yourself balanced and... And it's like, nah, I can't, I can't let y'all go down the same path that I went. You know, all these tattoos and this body work, nigga, I got this shit from prison. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't want you guys to go through the shit that I went through. Sacral chakra in the reverse. 
All right, your chakra chakra is what you feel. All right, it's about your creativity. It's about vitality. It's about determination. Determination. Dedicated effort. This is in love. So right now, you guys just don't even know what you feel in love, or if you even want to dedicate yourself to love right now. You guys are taking authority in your life in a different direction and like you're painting a different picture in regards to where you see your life going. And I just don't think your focus right now is on love. You need to finish designing your yard and you have other intentions, joy and stability. You have to find that joy and stability within yourself before you can have feelings and invite anybody else in. Like, yes, listen. You're healing. You've healed. You you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, the breaker of chains. I told you, like, you are the breaker of chains. Like, you broke old chains. And it's like, you're finally getting to a point where you're able to give and receive. And it's like, detach. Okay? So, you don't know what you feel. In regards to love yet yeah, because your mind and your body and your soul has a different purpose right now it has a different purpose right now you get so much joy and stability on dedicating your effort of and painting a bigger picture for all to see you guys feel more fulfilled and being crowned and people acknowledging you and how people just love what you're doing for your community I feel like that's where your love is that's helping you heal because you're giving and receiving back to your community and you've detached yourself from unrequited love and you found a new passion and new love for you just like giving to the community and teaching them how to detach and find peace right there with that dove, you know? Separating yourself from an old world and you in the new world where it's given to you. In a different form, and you found a different love. You found a different love, a love and giving, a love and teaching, and helping people learn to heal and not make the same mistakes that you've made. Can you clarify this love? How does Leo feel in love? Oh my God, how does Leo feel in love? Thank you. The devil obsession. Clarify the devil. The ace of swords. Hmm. Dealing with um a Leo. I mean the Leo is dealing with either a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. In the community. Leo feels like right now just... <laughs> he or she just feels like, listen, ain't nothing but nasty, lying, deceitful, gutter snipe fucking whores out in the community. Listen, I ain't trying to date right now. How I feel about love is that shit is a temptation. I'm not able to make clear decisions right now. And I don't really, um, yeah, I, 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 I ain't trying to be no community dick right now. Like, that's a fucking temptation. And... I don't feel like I'm able to make wise decisions in that matter. So um, until I'm able to control this temptation here, uh, I prefer not to do that. Uh, yeah, because it's going to lead to something that's going to be unfulfilling for me. And I don't even want to end not only that, but I see that it might possibly be an alcohol uh, addiction as well. You know, um, so it's like pussy, drugs, liquor. Not working. I'm good. I'm going to focus on something positive. <laughs> like, for real. It's like, I, I don't know why Leo just don't trust this. But you don't have to go to a bar or you don't have to be. I don't 
don't know. Like Leo feels like it's done. like it's mm -mm. like they broke that obsession. You know what I'm saying? They feel like dating. I'm right. I, like I'm, I'm detached from this shit. I'm, I'm at peace right now. I ain't trying to be out here fucking with these hoes. Let me do my work with this community and shit like that. Uh uh. I'm a put like Leo got their head down in the sand. They feel like everything out there in the world in the communities is devils and hoes, and they put their head down and wait till God send them the right one. They said, "I will not. Mm -mm. I rebuke you, Satan." Okay, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I do not like green eggs and ham. They said, "Hell no, we won't go." The shark. They said, "No, there's some sharks out there in the water." Mm mm. Right now, it's about survival. Okay. And I don't know if I could survive out here with these shots because y'all motherfuckers try to take me out. And I'm tired of dealing with all the drama. I have more fulfillment as long as I stay focused on what I'm doing, helping my community. Uh-huh. Indestructible. And I'm strong. Mm-hmm. It's about survival. And I'm strong. And I know. I know that I could withstand. Mm-hmm. Listen. Nourishment and clinging in the reverse. They don't want nothing that's unfulfilling and something that is clinging to, like... I, like they, they feel like they, unfortunately, attract clingy, obsessive women. You know what I'm saying? Or clingy and obsessive men. And it's like, man, I'm just out here trying to fucking survive, man. I'm starting all over. Listen, y'all bitches try to break me. Y'all can't break me. Y'all can't shake me. Y'all try to steal my milk, but bitch, I don't went out there and I found me a brand new whole cow. I don't give a shit. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want no woman or I don't want no man that's needy. Okay, I don't want it. I do not want it. The urn morning. Let me see. Ooh, the spider. Ooh, profound lessons. This right here. No wonder why Leo said. No wonder why Leo's acting like this. They're in survival mode. Why I feel like Leo feel like someone tried to kill him or something. Like someone tried to poison their milk or something. No, I'm I'm serious. Like I feel like Leo feels like I'm indestructible. Like this bitch tried to poison me. This clingy ass bitch. Like this bitch tried to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is mourning and can't get over the fact that she couldn't trap me in her web or something like that. Like, like they feel, I mean, maybe not literally like someone tried to poison them or something, but they feel like this person tried to trap them in this fucking little, this little tangly web that they weave for them. And Leo's like, I'm indestructible. Like, after I just to survive this fucking shit right here, uh-uh. I ain't fucking with none of these hoes. I'm gonna wait. I am wait. Listen. Because they almost got trapped by a fucking spider. Like, do you understand? They almost got trapped. They almost got put in his urn. Okay? The devil right there. And it says obsession, clinging. Profound lessons are at hand. Completions of cycles are near. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Leo is not touching nobody. So if you've been talking to Leo and you wonder why Leo ain't fucking you or ain't dealing with you no more because he feel like all y'all bitches is devils. Um, I feel like Leo gets triggered by what? Why I, I'm sitting Can y'all confirm this for me? Because I swear on everything. I swear on everything. You know, I, just, I just heard that, that, that bitch is trying to kill me. That bitch was trying to kill me. I'm like, what? That bitch try to put something in my sorrow. Anyway, listen, y'all. This has been y'all's reading. I think that this is a beautiful reading, you guys, because each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone goes through fucked up karmic situations. It's what you do when you come out of it. It's what is important. And it seems like Leo's trying to protect all of the animals in the universe. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. All right, you guys, I'm gone.